Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 125, day 3125. 3 is to signify the fact that we are, signify the fact that we are in the third edition. Third edition, day 125. We are in the process of solving data analysis exercises that you will find on page number 320. And today we'll do problem number problem number two. The problem, as you can see, is already on the blackboard. Make sure the book is in front of you. Turn to page 320. It says the number of passengers on nine flights is as follows. And they simply want us to find the mean, median, the mode, the range, and the interquartile range. And that's about it. Mean, median, mode, range, and interquartile range of these nine observations. So let's get going, shall we? I hope that you watch these videos in the proper sequence because everything builds on everything else. Yesterday we did the same thing where we had to find the mean, but we did not solve the, so calculate the mean in the traditional manner. The traditional manner, the orthodox manner, uh, the conventional manner is simply to add up the nine figures and divide by nine. We could do that, or we can simply take a guess. We can take a ballpark, ballpark figure. We see some observations here in the 20s, we see some observations in the, in the 30, and maybe let's just pretend that the average is 30. Let's just pretend that the average is 30. We could pretend that the average is 35, but let's just pretend that the average is 30, and we'll see what happens. It would make our life easier if we arrange these observations and put them in order, either in ascending order, either in ascending order, or descending order. It makes it easier. Let's put, the, uh, let's put this observation in ascending order and increasing order and then we'll start our process, shall we? So the lowest one I see here is 19. Let's put it first. That one is done. Then we see a 21. Then we see a 22 and a 22. Two 22s. 22, 22. Then I see 28. Then comes 28. And then 31. Then 33 and then 44 and 50. Let's make sure that I didn't mess up. We have three, three, and three, there we go. Let's get going. Let's pretend that the average is 30. If the average is 30, then we have a surplus of one here, a surplus of three here, a surplus of 14 here, and a surplus of 20 here. Let's see what we have in terms of deficit. If the average is 30, then this guy is two less than 30. This guy is eight less than 30, eight less than 30, nine, sir, and then 11, sir, a shortage of 11. Let's see what we can do. If we can see anything, oh, there you go, I see something here. Uh, I see something here. Uh, a minus 11 and a minus 9 is going to be negative 20, and I see a positive 20. So they play no role. They play absolutely no role. Uh, what else do we see here? Hmm. I see 8 and 8 is 16, a negative. A negative 16 and a positive 14. If you take away positive 14, the negative 16 is going to become negative 2. Oh, there we go, negative 2, and then we are done. Oh, it turns out, it turns out that the average is indeed exactly 30. Because watch what happens. So now we have a negative 2, a negative 2, and a negative 2 is negative 4, and we have a positive 4. So it turns out that the average is exactly 30. Because these are going to cancel out also. They they kill each other. They negate each other. So the average is 30. That part is done. So that was the mean. The mean is 30. Let's figure out the mode. Let's figure out the median first. The mean is 30. Let's make a note here. Mean is 30. Oh, I shouldn't have raised them because we're going to need them when we do the work for the median. Oh, that was a that was a damn silly thing to do, wasn't it? We have to rewrite them. So we have 19. And then we have a 21, then we had two 22s, then we had a 31, a 33. I hope I don't leave out something by doing it in a hurry. I think I have the feeling that I am leaving something out. 19, a 21, then we have 22s. I left out 28, I left out 28, 28, then we have 31, a 33, a 44, and a 50. Let's make sure that I we have nine of them, three, three of them here, three of them here, three of them here. We have nine observations. So, mean, we already figured out 
we already figured out the mean is 30. The median, since there are nine of them, four on this side, four on that side, so one, two, three, four. There you go, there's your median. It's right in the middle, because there are four observations on this side, four observations on that side. The median is 28. What about the mode? Well, mode is also very easy, because we only see one observation, one value that is repeated only once, 22 appears two times, and that's our mode. That's it. The mean, median, and mode were very simple, very straightforward. Now let's worry about the range. The ranges, the interquartile range and the range itself. But the range itself is very straightforward. It's just 50, 50 minus 19. The range is just 50 minus 19. 50 minus 20 would have been 30, so it is 31. Now worry, let's worry about the interquartile range, shall we? Let's worry about the interquartile range. We need to raise all of this thing because we need the room. Let's do the interquartile range. So we already have a marker for the median. Right here is the, that's, that's our median. And that's our 50th percentile. That's our 50th percentile, second quartile if you like. Let's worry about the first quartile. Since there are four observations on this side and four observations on that side, we have to have two in each quartile. Two, two in the first quartile, two in the second quartile. Right here is the demarcation, is the boundary for the first quartile, which is the average of 21 and 22. Average of 21 and 22 is 21 and a half, which is also the 25th percentile, obviously. Similarly here, two on this side and two on that side, the average of these two numbers, third quartile, is going to be the average of 33 and a 44. Average of 33 and a 44 is the average of 77, uh, is, the, is, the, is the sum of 33 and 44, 77. 77 divided by 2 is what we have to figure out. How many threes does 7 have? 7 has, let's put it a little bit lower so we have the room to work. 77 divided by 2 is what we're trying to figure out. How many twos does 7 have? 7 has 3 twos. 3 twos are 6. 3 twos are 6. After we take away 6 from the 7, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that 1? That 1 goes and joins the 7 and becomes a 17. And 17 has 8 twos. 8 twos are 16. After we take away 16 from the 17, we have a remainder of 1. What happens to that 1? That remainder of 1 must be divided by 2, because we're dividing the whole thing by 2. So. The interquartile range turns out, we have divided by 2, so 2 goes away. Interquartile range turns out is, interquartile, interquartile range turns out that it is simply the third quartile right here minus the first quartile. Third quartile we found out is 38 and a half, and the first quartile is 21 and a half. 21 and a half. I don't like the way it's written, I'm going to line them up. There you go. So it's just 38 minus 21. 38 minus 20 would have been 18, therefore 38 minus 20 would have been 18, therefore 38 minus 21 is going to be 17. There you go. The interquartile range is 17. And I think that pretty much takes care of part A. Let's do part B. It says, if each flight had three times as many passengers, what would have been the mean, median, mode, range, interquartile range? and the standard deviation of the nine figures. Standard deviation. They must have given us a standard deviation somewhere. Yeah, it says in the, in the problem, it says, the second sentence, which I left out, the second sentence in the problem says, the standard deviation of these nine observations is approximately 10.22. So we, we're going to use that to figure out the standard deviation of the new observations after everything has been multiplied by three. They're going to say that if each flight had three times as many passengers. So let's do it on the top. Part B. If each flight had three times as many passengers. We need the room obviously, so we need to get rid of all of this thing. Except this part here, when the, when the figures are written in order, just, just leave it there. So these are the original figures that were given to us. And what they are told is that what happens if it turns out that each flight had three times as many passengers. In other words, 
instead of 19, we had 19 times 3, instead of 21, we had 21 times 3, and so on and so forth. Every one of them is 3 times as much. Well, if every figure is multiplied by the same constant, then the new mean, new mean is simply going to be 3 times the old mean. Whatever the mean was before, whatever it was, because everything is multiplied. See, for example, let's do very quickly. We don't have to do, we don't need to do things, it's too silly, but let's just do it anyway. If we had three observations A, B, and C, then the average would have been A, B, C divided by 3. What do you, what do you suppose happens if you were to multiply everything by K? Now the average is going to be this guy. K plus K times A, K times B, K times C plus divided by 3. And what, what happens when we do that? We end up, we take out the K common, then we have A plus B plus C divided by 3. A plus B plus C divided by 3 is the old mean, is the old mean, so it's simply K times the old mean. We don't have to do all of this thing, it's too simple. We can clearly see that the new mean is going to be 3 times the old mean. Similarly, similarly, if every single observation is multiplied by 3, the new median it's going to be 3 times the old median. And we're not going to do that. Whatever the old median was, just multiply by 3. The new mode, well, before the mode was 22. Now, as you can see, instead of, two, instead of 222s, we're going to have 266. It's just going to be 3 times the old mode. What about the range? The new range. Well, before the range was 50 minus 19, 50 minus 19, now it's going to be 50 times 3 minus 19 times 3. This is times 3, this is times 3, we can take out 3 common and it's just 50 minus 19, 50 minus 19, as you can see it's simply 3 times the old range. The new range is simply 3 times the old range, the new mode is 3 times the old mode, the new median is 3 times the old median, new mean is 3 times the old mean, and same thing is going to happen with interquartile range. We're not going to do the calculation. The new interquartile range, where can we put it? Let's put it right here. Let's put it, let's put it right in the bottom here. So it's simply the new range it is simply 3 times the old range and the new interquartile range is just going to be 3 times the old interquartile range for the same exact reason that we did with the thing because everything is being multiplied by 3. So that was part B. That I believe was, was the end of part B. Oh, there is part C. There's one more part. If each flight had two fewer passengers, okay? Listen very carefully. So there is a difference between, listen very carefully, very, very carefully. There is a difference between when you take every single observation and multiply every single observation by, by some constant or divide, multiply or divide by the same constant as opposed to adding or subtracting that number. Here we are multiplying. When we multiply, then the new values, new uh, new statistics are just k times the old statistics, as you can see, k being 3 here. But when we add or subtract, when we add or subtract, this is not going to result. It's not, the new mean is not going to be, uh, but we'll see in a second. I meant, I meant to say the range. The range, when we add or subtract, when we add or subtract from each observation, it does not impact the range or the interquartile range. It doesn't impact the range because range is simply the difference between the highest and the lowest. If you take the highest value and take away 7 from it, and you take the lowest value and take away 7 from it, the difference between the two remains the same as before. Here we're taking away not 7 but 2. If each, each flight has two fewer passengers. If each flight, this is part C, If each flight, if each flight had not two times, but two fewer passengers, two fewer passengers. So, 
we had before we had we had 19 21 22 we don't have to re rewrite everything but we're going to do it anyway 28 31 23 44 and 50 and now this is the old one the new data is going to be 17 19 20 20 26 29 31 42 and 48 Every single observation is two less than before. Well, if every single observation is two less than before, what do you suppose is going to happen to mean? The mean is going to be two less than before. Because every single one is reduced by the same amount. For the same exact reason as before we saw here, if we had three observations, A plus B plus C, the average is this. But if you take away same amount from each observation, it's A minus K plus B minus K. plus c minus k, we take away the same value, and if we take the average of these three figures, it is simply a plus b plus c minus k minus k minus k is minus 3k over 3, and which is simply a plus b plus 3 divided by 3 is the old, is the old mean, and then 3k divided by 3 is just minus k. Obviously, we don't have to do all this thing, we just have to use our brain a little bit that the, if every single observation is reduced by a certain amount, then the mean is going to be by the, go down to the same amount. So the new mean, new mean is same as, uh, it, it, new mean is going to be the old mean minus the k, the k here being 2, plus or minus. If you're adding the k, if you're adding this constant amount to each observation, then it's going to be plus k. If you're subtracting, it's going to be minus k. Of course, here we're subtracting, it's too fewer. If instead of two fewer, if you had seven more, then it would be seven plus seven. The new, the new median, well before the median was one, two, three, four. This was, this guy was the median. Instead of median being 28, now the median is going to be 26. So the new median is going to be whatever the old median was, whatever the old median was, minus a k. The new mode, before 22 was the mode, now 20 is the mode. The new mode is simply whatever the old mode was, minus a k. The only thing that is not going to change is the range. You see, the new range, the new range is, how do we find the range? The range is simply the difference between the highest and the lowest. But if you take away if you take away constant amount from the highest value, h minus k it becomes. If you take away k from the h, and if you take away 2 from here and 2 from here, now the difference between highest and the lowest is this. The highest value is no longer h, it is h minus 2, h minus k minus the lowest value. And again, when you work on it, it becomes h minus l, which is our old range. And then what happens? This minus k here, this minus k here, and then when we open the parenthesis, this minus and minus becomes plus k. And of course, we, this is too ridiculous. Of course, the range is not going to change because the range is the difference between the highest and the lowest. And if you increase both of the values by the same amount, the difference doesn't change. The difference is not impacted. Range does not change, and neither is the interquartile range. The new, new interquartile range it's going to be same as the old. Same. It's going to be same as the old interquartile range. The new range is the same as the old range. Right here, old range. The new interquartile range is same as the new is the is the old quartile interquartile range. Because the the differences, the difference is not going to change. It's still going to be the same. The new the new interquartile range. If you wanted to figure it out, it would have been simply have been, let's do it here if you like. The new, new interquartile range is simply going to be before, before the third quartile was 38, now 38 and a half, now it's not going to be 38, it's going to be 38 and a half minus 2, minus the first quartile which was 21, 21 and a half before, now it's going to be 21 and a half minus 2, when we open the parenthesis, we get 38 and a half 
minus 2, minus 21 and a half, and then this minus and this minus, this minus and this minus, becomes plus 2. And what happens? This negative 2 and this positive, they, they, they kill each other. And we end up with the, the new interquartiles range, the same as the old one. Because it's the difference. The difference is not going to change between the two values if you, if you increase or decrease both of the values by the same amount. What about the standard deviation? The range does not change. The means, medias and mode, do they do change. Mean, median and mode, they do change. Ranges do not change. What about the standard deviation? The standard deviation measures the spread, the spread of each observation from the mean, how spread out they are around the mean. And again, if you take away same value from each observation, exact same value from the, each observation, does the spread change? No, of course this does not change. If you, for example, or take away or add, for example, if you take the highest value and add 100 to it, well, the highest value now is 100 more than that, but you, you, you take the lowest value and take 100 to it, the spread around the mean is not going to change. You're picking up the same thing, you're picking up the same thing, and moving it around, moving it around, either left or right. If we move, take the whole observation and move it to the left, we're subtracting the constant value from each observation. If we move it to the right, we're adding the same value to each of the observations. But the, the, the shape of the bell curve and the spread does not change. The new standard deviation, new standard deviation, is going to be the same as the old standard deviation, which was given to us as 10.22. Since each observation changes by the same amount, the spread, as we said, is unaffected. It remains unaffected, and therefore the standard deviation is the same as, same as before, 10.22. And I believe that was the end of it, finally. That was the end of part C. So one more time, the standard deviation is not impacted. The mean, median, and mode, they are impacted. They go down or up by whatever it is that we're doing. These are impacted, the mean, median, and, and mode. They are impacted. The range is not impacted. The interquartile range is not impacted. The standard deviation is not impacted if we add or subtract by the same amount. Do you understand? I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now. I didn't mean to say add or subtract. I meant to say add or... Yes, add or subtract. That's right. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye now.